The power of Mekimaru. This loading is going to make me die. Or is that the save mechanic? Sound of her welding. Hmm. I, I had, had some, some idea, idea, but I never, I never expected Soul Edge and Mekimaru would, would fuse together this well. well. However, However, this, this power, power is so, is so intense. intense. Can, Can I control, control it? it? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I finally <laughs> found some time. Gaki? Have, Have you been, been watching, watching me? me? Yeah, I've been watching it all the time. Toki. Hand it over. So Mekimaru still was the safe. This sword must not fall into Toki's hands. Watch now that she used it. Master Toki to you. <laughs> not anymore, is it? Why do you still follow him even though he's lost his mind? <laughs> You're getting sloppy, Taki. I don't know what you did to that sword, but it's taking its toll now. I'll be taking it from you now. Why do all of these people's names end in an eye? Is this supposed to be a joke? Taki, Toki, Geki, Gaki, Gwakin, what the fuck? It's like Dion Way. First thing I thought of. Right in the dick. Stay down. Why do they recast all of the voice actors? Yeah, that was a miss, alright. So are the symbols on her body going to be explained? He knows how his hairstyle is completely different to what his portrait was. Alright. No, wait. Is hers different? Oh no, I think hers is different. Oh crap. Uh no. No, oh, hers is different. draws it.
calls out the sword's name like it's a person. It seems I'm stuck with the sword for a bit longer. But its power is too great. Could I ever learn to master it? Not if you keep doubting yourself, you can't. As far as Taki was concerned, Toki, the leader of the Fuma clan, was once like a mentor to her. However, that Toki was long gone now. Taken over by his unhealthy obsession with Mickey Maru, no one saw how much he changed more than Taki. Yasunobu ranked directly below Taki in the Fuma clan, was constantly biting at her heels. Then no one, one day, Maki, one of the heads of the Yasunobu faction, appeared before her. Oh my Do god. You you escape, Taki? That and voice is perfect! Just another hopeless Toki loyalist? Don't you see him for what he's become? <laughs> That's exactly why I follow Master Toki. <laughs> I should have guessed. Master Toki says that if you play nice and hand over Mickey Nara, then show mercy. Do you really think I'd fall for that? <laughs> It's true, though. You're still in his good books. And... Now we're ready. Ah! Poison powder! You'll pay for that! That was fake as shit. See what I mean? Like, there's certain characters that can do their lines well, and there's other ones that are like, are you reading it, or are you actually saying it? Oh, my god. Like, oh, poison powder, you'll pay for that. Like, come on! Well, now that I know hers are different, this is not gonna be great. That Maki has a fucking lady no voice, and I like it. It hits her character, too. It's like, like, Neo Tengu. With the voice. Watch me miss, watch me strike, watch me hit this fucking target. Oh! Watch me miss everything. I need to stop missing shit. Girl's right in front of me and I can't hit her. Taki, you won't escape no matter what. Nothing is more fleeting than a ninja's. Life. Dead. I shouldn't expect anything less from the Yasunobu's forces. I must stay alert. If only I could master Mekimaru and fight them off. Hmm. In search of information about Mekimaru, Taki made her way to the weapon's place of origin, the Manji clan's village. However, rumors were spreading that a warlord had slaughtered the entire clan except for one man. With nothing but this single lead to go on, Taki headed to the base of Mount Fuji. <laughs> Mount Fuji-san. It's, it's a long, long way, way from the Manji, Manji clan's, clan's village. village. <laughs> the fuck? Those clothes. He must, must be, be from there. From there, there where? Ah. Are you related to Yoshimitsu? Wasn't Yoshimitsu from the Fuma clan? No? I know those words. I've heard them before. Yoshimitsu says it. Ah, you are Yoshimitsu! Ah. Fuck me. Couldn't tell from that portrait. Oh my god. Okay. I'm screwing this up. Uh oh yeah. Uh. <sighs> He's 
some sort of automaton? Hmm. He must have used word power to control it. It's remarkable he could do it for so long. You did well to see through my contraption. Even so, when I reclaim that borrowed sword, revenge shall be mine. That foreign sword? You mean Soul Edge. Soul Edge was a pair of swords. Indeed, there was one that wasn't destroyed. Hmm. Hmm? What's this I'm sensing? Galafiri. Was the seal broken? Matters have taken a turn for the worse, but this can't be ignored. I mean, I'm trying to like her voice, but I don't know what the fuck is wrong. It's like the same, it's like, uh... The same meaning, like, there's no feeling in it. Like that other character I was complaining about earlier. Taki had once sealed away a great demon by the name of Galofiri. Upon observing this strange aura in the underground streams in emanating from the base of Mount Fuji, Taki surmised that Galofiri had headed in the direction of Hokoki Temple in Kyoto. Hokoji, sorry. Taki's journey was arduous and saw her fending off numerous attackers. Then one day she was approached by Shuki, head of the Fuma clan's Fujibe faction. She expected a fight, but Shinki had other plans. Been a while, Taki. What a freak. Esteemed leader of the Fuji Bay, please let me do what I must. You of all people know the horror that is Gallo Fury. Can you master Nekimoto? No. Don't tell me you seek the blade too. Do not misunderstand me. I need Nekimoto. But only to stop Toki and his madness. So you're part of the Urabe faction? Yes. We are entrusted with righting the clan leader's wrongs. But our faction leader is not strong enough to defeat Toki. That is why we need Mekimaru. Through the power of words, you can control Mekimaru for a short while. I shall not ask you for the sword. But would you be willing to help us defeat Toki? I'm an outcast now. An outcast have but one fate. Indeed they do. I'm sure you know better than most. That not a single outcast has ever survived! The fuck? <laughs> oh my god. I like how he was all cool and calm and collected and all of a sudden, FREAK! <laughs>